80 years ago, who could have imagined the size airplanes mm -hmm. and the jetways and airports that we have today? Who could have imagined the mag mega cruise ships, mm -hmm. 5,000 passengers? We have trouble imagining the future. And we predict the future at our peril if we do it poorly. We have to be open-minded to where things are headed. And nowhere is that more true than with the issue of rising sea level. Because this isn't a theory anymore, unless you think that ice melting at 32 degrees is a theory. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ice in Antarctica and Greenland, and it's melting faster and faster. It needs to teach us some geologic history because sea level has been stable for 6,000 years. But if we look back a little bit further, we get a hint of what lies ahead. 20,000 years ago, sea level was 400 feet lower. 120,000 years ago, sea level was 25 feet higher. Mm -hmm. We need to learn some geologic history because it's gonna teach us how to prepare for the future so that we can move to higher ground mm -hmm. with planning rather than by disaster.